This is a double leg foam roller isometric bridge. Now we're gonna need a foam roller here. If you don't have a foam roller though, you actually can do this on something like a step or a couple of uh, blocks or bumper plates. Uh, the foam roller naturally would be harder because it's gonna wanna move. So we're gonna set up lying on our back, but in terms of foot position, I'm gonna have my foot placed on the foam roller where I'm really pushing down through the base of the big toe and the pinky. So think kind of the ball or that front part of your foot is where we're pressing down into the roller. Now to set up, I don't want a lot of knee flexion. So I'm about 20 to 30 degrees, meaning I don't want the foam roller too close to us because that's too much knee flexion. So 20 to 30 degrees of knee flexion here. I'm gonna set up by exhaling all the air out to set my ribs down to get nice and stacked. So I have no air left. I'm gonna tuck my pelvis slightly and then I'm gonna bridge up, pressing through the front of my feet, but really trying to get my heels up the entire time. So I'm pushing down through the balls of my feet, but keeping my heels up the entire time. I've got that tucked pelvis here and I'm breathing here. Now I'm not letting the calves, or sorry, the heels drop down. Like I said, I'm trying to keep them up the entire time. Now it's not uncommon to get some cramping through the hamstrings here, especially when it's early on and this is kind of the first time you've done this drill, but kind of work through it, take a break, uh, record your max hold here. So as long as you can hold here, Make sure that you keep that tuck and stay nice and stacked the entire time through this movement. 